I'm Sarah Jefferson. In this work, my co-authors and I looked at the influence that large-scale galactic dynamical processes have on giant molecular clouds. By large-scale dynamics, we mean the bulk motion of the gas, stars and dark matter in the galaxy. For example, the rotation of the galaxy means that an object sitting in the galactic disk experiences a centrifugal force. If the object is extended, it also experiences a Coriolis force during its collapse, rotating it in the same direction as the galaxy. In Milky Way-like galaxies, there is also a gradient of angular velocities from the inner to the outer parts of the disk, trying to rotate the object against the direction of the galaxy. These effects arise due to a combination of overall galactic rotation and differential rotation, or shear. Their strength can be parametrized by the galactic shear parameter. Gravitational contraction on large scales is also a galactic dynamical effect. When gaseous overdensities in the disk become too massive to be supported by the centrifugal force or their internal turbulent pressure, they collapse under their own gravity. Objects inside these collapsing regions must also collapse on a time scale equal to or smaller than the collapse time of the larger overdensity. We're interested in looking at what happens when these objects are giant cold clouds of molecular hydrogen called giant molecular clouds. This is because we want to learn about how galactic dynamics affect star formation in a galaxy and the vast majority of star formation occurs inside molecular clouds. We look at this problem at high resolution across a range of galactic environments using hydrodynamical simulations of isolated disk galaxies. This allows us to probe down to two parsec resolutions inside a sample of around 80,000 distinct molecular clouds across three different different galaxies with different rotation profiles, and so with different levels of shear and gravitational stability. Our galaxies and simulated molecular clouds match key observable cloud properties in the Milky Way, which means that to the extent of current observational knowledge, our simulated clouds are not wrong. So what do we find? We look at the average properties of our cloud sample across our dynamical parameter space, spanned by the shear parameter, the gravitational stability parameter, and the orbital angular velocity of the galaxy. The rotational properties of the clouds clearly change as the degree of galactic differential rotation increases and as the gas reservoir becomes more gravitationally stable. So we find that in some way, galactic dynamics affect the rotational properties of the clouds. On the other hand, the gravoturbulent and star-forming properties of the clouds are unaffected. In terms of their collapse and the star formation that results, the molecular clouds are decoupled from the large-scale dynamical evolution of the galaxy. In summary, only the rotational properties of the giant molecular clouds display galactic dynamical trends. To better understand this result, we have also looked at the H1 clouds, clouds of cool atomic hydrogen that are less dense and larger than the giant molecular clouds. They are thought to be the reservoirs of cool gas out of which the cold molecular clouds form. We find that these clouds display a larger range of dynamical couplings in their gravoturbulent as well as rotational properties. This points towards an intuitive conclusion. 
Clouds of gas that are closer in density and pressure to the average gas within the galactic midplane display a higher degree of coupling to its dynamical evolution. Molecular clouds are smaller, denser, and collapse faster, so are less dynamically coupled to the surrounding gas. This leads to a prediction to be explored in future work. If we simulate galaxies with higher masses or higher gas fractions with increased mid-plane densities and pressures, then the average gas density on large scales will be closer to the transition point between atomic and molecular gas. The molecular clouds and the star formation inside them will then display more galactic dynamical trends in these galaxies.